Hello, in this video we are going to discuss graph of inverse trigonometric function called y equal to sin inverse x. So in our previous chapter we have discussed graph of trigonometric function y equal to sin x. And now let us write the domain for this function which would be the values of x between pi by 2 comma minus pi by 2. And then by substituting the values of x in the equation, we get the y value as 1 comma minus 1, which are the range for this function. So while we draw the graph of such function, the values of x are plotted on x-axis, whereas the value of y on y-axis. But in case of inverse trigonometric function, such as y equal to sine inverse x, where we are interchanging the dominant range, so x becomes the range of such function and y becomes the domain. So the domain y is plotted on x-axis whereas the range x is plotted on y-axis. Now let me explain this concept using a graph. So let us consider a coordinate plane over here. And now let us write the values on y-axis which are pi by 2 comma minus pi by 2. So here we get pi by 2 and then here we get a point called minus pi by 2. And now let us plot the values of y on x-axis which are 1 and minus 1. And this is the origin O. And now let us plot the different values of y corresponding to the values of x on a graph sheet. So for x equal to pi by 2, the value of y is 1. So here we get a point and then so by substituting 0 in the equation, we get the order pair 0 comma 0. So here we get a point and then the next value is minus pi by 2 comma minus 1. So here we get a point and by joining all these points, we get a curve and this curve is called as y equal to sin inverse x. Hope you understood the concept and in our next coming up videos, we are going to discuss graphs of few more inverse trigonometric functions. Hope you understood the concept. For more videos, visit our website, Vedic Academy. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.